Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about everything you need to know to optimize your videos. Basically, this is just an updated version of how to upload your YouTube videos, but we're going to be talking about YouTube SEO. So if you haven't uploaded a video yet this year, YouTube has actually updated their up, uh, uploader. So now you can only upload one video at a time, but don't worry, you can actually go back to the classic version. I'm guessing that they updated the uploader because of the new rules with the kid content. They wanna know if you're creating um, videos for kids or if you're not creating videos for kids. But really, if you go to the defaults, you can actually check to say that your channel is not for kids or if it is for kids but I'm guessing it's a just in case thing. <laughs> so this video is actually updated from last year's video because that one kind of sucked. <laughs> it was my first time creating videos for YouTube and I was nervous. So this is an update for that. So you can ignore the other one. So let's get started on uploading your videos and optimizing them so you can be found in the YouTube search results. Before we even upload the video, the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the file name. So the file name is important because it's also part of SEO. Don't just upload a video that says video one or YouTube video one, or some people use dates for their videos. Make sure you name your file what your YouTube video title is. So, I've already named my video how to use a YouTube channel art template to brand your channel. And then I even have the parentheses Photoshop tutorial. I just want you to know that naming your files is so important for SEO, not just YouTube SEO, but SEO in general. So if you have a website, make sure you always name your files correctly on your website for your blog images, your thumbnail even. See, you see my thumbnail has the same title as my uh, videos. Usually at the end, I put thumbnail at the end, but it doesn't really matter. Just get into a habit of naming your files because it's great for SEO, no matter if it's YouTube, Google, and even your Instagram images, just make sure you name all your files what they are or what you want to be searched for, basically. So that's number one, make sure you name your file. Then number two, we're just gonna drag and drop this to YouTube. So let's see, let me go to YouTube. Then you see this little video camera with the plus, that's how you up upload a video. So you can either upload a video or go live. I'm just gonna upload a video. So you can select the file or drag and drop. I'm just gonna, drag my video and you see you can also upload with classic so it used to be that youtube didn't really have this pop-up it would actually be back here in this uh on the on the website but i actually like this it makes you focus just on the video and to make sure that you uh optimize everything before you upload your video so the third thing we're going to do is check the title of your video. The re other reason why you want to name your file is because look at the title. Now it's named exactly how I named my video file. If you use certain symbols like an exclamation mark, it won't be in your file name. See, you even see that the parentheses on my video on my title are gone. So I'm going to add those back in. So even if you name your file, well, when you name your file, that's awesome because it's less work for you to type in the title, but make sure you double check it if you used any symbols or like parentheses, exclamation points, or, or a hyphen or whatever. So I have the title ready. It's exactly the way I want my title to be. So now for number four, you need to write your description. So you notice that I already have stuff in my description already, but that's the default description. So this is gonna be on all my YouTube videos. But I have a line here on purpose because the first few paragraphs of your description 
should have the keywords you want to be searched for or the keywords that pertain to your video. So make sure that you write, you have all your main keywords that you want to be found for in your description. The other thing is make sure that your title is in the first paragraph of the description. So you see that I actually put my title here because it's kind of hard to read like this how to use a YouTube channel art template to brand your channel. And then I have parentheses Photoshop. That would look weird because look at the end right here, learn how to, this is how I usually write my sentences, but I wanted to add this Photoshop tutorial. So you see how it says, learn how to use a YouTube channel art template to brand your channel. So the first part of the keyword is still in there, but I didn't add this Photoshop tutorial. So I also want to be found for YouTube channel banner, YouTube channel art template. So I made sure to include the keywords that I wanted to be found for. Then of course I added other videos that I thought were relevant to this. So after the description, the fifth thing we're going to do is add tags. Tags are important for YouTube SEO because it helps your video get found. So make sure to add keywords that you want to be found for that actually pertain to your video. My video is called how to use a YouTube channel art template to brand your channel. So that's the first tag that I should have. Your first tag should always be your video title. Then after that, I use a uh, TubeBuddy to add text. And you see that it has YouTube channel art and then I can just click on it. YouTube channel banner or YouTube banner, how to make a YouTube channel art, YouTube channel art tutorial. So having something like TubeBuddy can actually help you uh, find keywords if you don't want to research them manually. If you don't have TubeBuddy, you can just go to the link in my description box and I'll have the link to TubeBuddy. You can use up to 500 characters for your keywords. Make sure you're using the words pertaining to your video. So number six, we're going to add the thumbnail cards and end cards. So we're going to do the thumbnail. And so you already saw actually that I had my thumbnail ready. So remember, make sure to title your, your thumbnail after the video. So I'm going to add it. Then after the thumbnail, I usually add my videos to a playlist. But I'm not going to right now because I'm going to have this as unlisted and I don't want anyone to see the video before it's supposed to be uploaded. The reason why I have it unlisted is because I'm going to get it transcribed so that I can add captions. But usually with the playlist, I'll add all my videos to Pagan's ultimate playlist. So it'll have every video that I upload onto YouTube. But I can also add this to how to make your YouTube videos 2020. I could probably add it to uh, build a brand on YouTube and branding tips. I'm going to skip this part for now. Audience, no, mine is not, my videos are not made for kids. So we're going to hit next. And then we're going to add an end screen. So go to add. For the end screen, you can add elements. You can add videos or subscribe your channel. And then when you get when you get permission, you can add links. I always import it from my videos. So it automatically imports the same end screen that I use for the last video. So I have the subscribe over here, the most recent video up here and best for viewer. And you see, you actually have those options. Most recent upload, best for viewer, and you can also choose a video or playlist but I just stick to this design right here. So you can preview it and then you see this automatically comes up, but I need to change this because this is blank. So let's try it again. Perfect. So now I'm just going to save and then return to YouTube studio. So when I return, it goes back to this upload video and now I'm going to add cards in the beginning of the video. I sometimes like to add the last video that I had. I'm going to go ahead and do the design your YouTube thumbnails video. 
or design your YouTube thumbnails faster because that's also a template video. But I also know that at one minute and 37 seconds, I talk about designing your channel art. And I wanna add that video there, right here. Brand your YouTube channel art. So I'm going to create a card because right at that point is when I start talking about that video. So these are, this is how you access the cards or how your viewers will see it, how it'll pop up when they're watching your videos. So I'm just going to return to YouTube Studio because this one saves automatically. The reason why I always add an end screen and cards is so that my viewers can know that they can watch other videos from me. So for the end screen, they can watch the most popular video or the most recent video. And then for the cards, if they want to go back and watch the videos that per pertain to this video, they can do that there. I'm going to hit next. So number seven, we're going to finally schedule your video, but I'm not going to schedule the video right now. But if I was, I can go to schedule and then this video for me is going out February 4th and I'm going to pick three o'clock, but I'm not going to schedule it right now. If you were, you can do this and schedule, but I want to transcribe my video. So I'm going to put it as unlisted. Then after the captions are on my video, I'm going to go back and schedule my video. So for now, I'm going to put it as unlisted and then I'm going to say done and close. So you see that my most recent video is right here, but I'm going to go to rev.com and I'm going to get the transcription for my video. So I'm going, so I'm in Rev and I'm going to place a new order and go to captions because the thing about the captions is I get the caption and the transcription. So I can use the tra transcription later for my, my blog post. The reason why you want to add captions to your videos is because it's also great for YouTube SEO because they can actually read, read the captions on your video. So I'm just going to do it through YouTube. I'm gonna only show the videos without caption files. If you wanna save $10 off of Rev, you can actually use the link in my description box down below. So once I get my transcription, I can go back into this YouTube studio and go to videos and then you see you have schedule and I can schedule it for the official date but I haven't got the transcription yet, so I'm gonna cancel that. That's just so you know what to do whenever you wanna go and schedule your video. Another thing is after you schedule your video, you can uh, select it and add it to the playlist that you want. So that's what I usually do at the end. So here's a pro tip. Make sure you research your tags before you start recording your videos. So whenever you're planning your videos, Go ahead and research your tags then with something like TubeBuddy. I actually like to use TubeBuddy and, and YouTube to research my tags. So whenever I'm planning my videos, I'll go on TubeBuddy and I'll search for tags and I'll also create the title for my video and I'll write out the description. That way I can just copy and paste it whenever I'm uploading my videos. So you can actually use a Google Doc, that's what I use, or you can just use Word or Evernote or whatever you like to use for planning your videos. So if you do all that research in the planning phase, it actually makes uploading your videos easier, especially if you have to upload more than one video at a time. But I guess it's also easy to just switch back to the classic, but I kind of like focusing on one video at a time so I don't miss anything. If you like the tips that I'm giving you, be sure to hit the notification bell because next week I'm gonna show you how to edit your videos faster. I think that's gonna be called something like YouTube video editing, behind the scenes of how I edit my videos quickly, something like that. <laughs> so if you want more videos on branding and creating videos, check out these two videos over here. I hope I'm pointing to the right direction. <laughs> Until next time, bye.